Welcome to another demonstration of the CISRO platform. Today I will be demonstrating how to construct a Prisma flow diagram using the Prisma 2020 R Package and Shiny app created by Neil Hathaway, Chris Pritchard, and Luke McGinnis. If you would like to see their preprint publication, you can find it at the address here. A bit of background. Prisma S is an extension to the Prisma statement for reporting literature searches and systematic reviews. What that practically means is that a Prisma flow diagram is a visualization of the entire literature corpus that was reviewed by the research team, starting with multiple search queries and ending with the final data extraction. When you hit Create Flow Diagram, you are presented with a UI for constructing your own Prisma flow diagram. As you can see, they can be quite complex. In addition to searching multiple databases and registries, articles can also come from previous studies and be identified by other methods, such as websites, organizations, and citation searching. For the sake of clarity of this demonstration, let's simplify a little. In its simplified form, it's a little easier to see the flow of the Prisma flow diagram from finding articles to screening articles, and then finally including them. For the rest of this demonstration, I'm going to be using three public projects that were conducted by the researchers that you see here. While this is their stage three data extraction project, they also had a stage one title and abstract screening and a stage two full text screening. Let's begin putting in some numbers. We can see that they screened 2,955 articles. For the sake of completeness, let's make up some numbers real fast. Let's say that 2,000 articles came from databases, 1,000 came from registries, 43 duplicates were removed, one was automatically excluded, and another was excluded for other reasons. That brings us to our 2,955. We can see from the project that of that, they excluded 2,683, leaving us with 272, which is indeed the number that they included. If we go to their second stage project, we can see that they actually only did a screen of the full text of 271 articles. This implies that one article was not retrieved. Next, let's take a look at the reasons that articles were excluded. From the project, we can see that there were a variety of reasons, including not exercise, not English, not original research, or that it was false for one of the two metrics that they were interested in. Instead of filling out for each one, let's just quickly put in some numbers. Let's say that 50 were excluded for reason 1, 50 were excluded for reason 2, and 49 were excluded for reason 3. That brings us to 122 included studies, which indeed is what they've included in their data extraction phase. And as I hope that shows, it is quite easy to create your own Prisma flow diagram using the Prisma 2020 R Shiny package. Once you have completed your projects, and you can pull the numbers directly from SysRev. If you have any questions or would like to see a specific tutorial in the future, let us know at info at Until next time.